Did you know that Mihawk is a secret member of the Revolutionary Army? Mihawk is one of the most mysterious characters in One Piece, and there is no record of its origin. Even before the current pirate era, Mihawk was already famous. He was known to challenge strong opponents and defeat them all. This is how he earned the title of the world's strongest swordsman. Mihawk attended the execution of Goldie Roger. However, the exact reason for this is unknown. It is possible that he was interested in the Pirate King, being the strongest pirate of his time. Sometime later, Mihawk joined the Sitsubukai. At this point, there was still no sign of Mihawk being a pirate. He seems to prefer solitude over solidarity. If Mihawk was not a pirate, why would he be chased by the world government? Maybe. It was not the government chasing him, but the likes of Juro who want to challenge him. So why join the Sitsubukai? This is because Mihawk is a secret member of the Revolutionary Army. And like Kuma, he infiltrated the Sitsubukai to remain informed of the government's movements. Although Mihawk is the type of person who prefers being alone, Monkey D. Dragon, knowing the incredible strength of Mihawk, recruited him as a freelancer by accepting his terms and conditions. One possible assignment and given to him by the Revolutionary Army was to train Joro. When the Straw Hats were about to be eliminated by Kizaru at Sabon the Archipelago, Bartolomeo Kuma arrived. By using his Niku Niku no Mi Devil Fruit, he sent the Straw Hat crew to different locations. Joro was sent to Kuraigana Island, where Mihawk lives. When Joro arrived on this island, Mihawk did not seem surprised to see him. In fact, he even tried to stop Joro from leaving the island in his injured state. Also, Mihawk and Kuma's actions were coordinated. Just like Kuma and Rayleigh's, when Kuma revealed to him his plan about Luffy, this concludes that Mihawk is a member of the Revolutionary Army. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think.